Hello friends, welcome to my channel Blockon. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the scanning technique of multiple blocks for heap analgesia. Let's start with the ultrasound scanning for femoral nerve. I'm standing on the right side of the patient and ultrasound machine is on the opposite side and I'm using a high frequency linear probe. So first place the probe on the inguinal crease and look for the anatomical landmark that is the femoral vessels. So here you can see the pulsatile femoral artery and the vein on the medial side. If you look lateral to the femoral artery, there is a hyperechoic structure lying on the anteromedial surface of the iliosos muscle. So that is the femoral nerve in between two layers of fascia iliaca. This is the fascia iliaca and this is the fascia lata. So sometimes you might get the double artery. If you go below, you will get the double artery. That is the origin of the arteria profunda femoris. So here, origin of the arteria profunda femoris indicates that you are too low at almost three to four centimeter below the inguinal ligament. Here the femoral nerve divides into anterior and posterior division. So better not to block the nerve here. Go cephalad and get a single nerve and block it here. This is very close to the artery. Here we can see. So this is the iliosos muscle as you can see and this is the fascia covering the iliosos muscle. So if you <coughs> place your needle tip here and deposit 30 to 40 ml of drug here that will slowly spread towards the femoral nerve and block the femoral nerve. There is an indirect block of the femoral nerve that is infrainguinal ultrasound guided fascia iliaca block. Moving to the lateral side, so here the iliosus muscle is ending and another muscle is starting. You can see this is the sartorius muscle trace to the lateral border of the sartorius muscle. Here you can see a V-shaped fat filled tunnel between the sartorius muscle medially and the tensor fascia lata laterally. So here in this V-shaped tunnel, the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve usually lies here. So even if you are not able to identify the nerve clearly, if you deposit the local anesthetic, that will block the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. So let's try to identify, um, I'm tracing it on a cephalad and caudal direction. So in caudal scanning, you can see the two nerves. These two are probably the anterior and the posterior division of the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. If you observe closely, there is a, one small pulsatile vessel is there. So that sometimes helps to identify the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. These two are the anterior and posterior division. Here also you can block. Now, moving on towards the medial side for obturator nerve scanning. So first I again place the probe on inguinal crease, identify the femoral vessels and uh, move your probe on the medial side. Here if you abduct the thigh little bit that will help in scanning for obturator nerve. So we'll try to identify the three group of adductor muscles. So here you can see on the medial side of the femoral vessels, medial side of the femoral vessels, there are three group of muscles. The, from above downwards or anterior to posterior, they are, this is adductor longus, adductor brevis, and adductor magnus. And in between adductor longus and brevis, you can see a hyperechoic structure sandwiched between these two muscles, that is the anterior division of the obturator nerve. Whereas in between the brevis and the magnus, if you see 
Another hyperechoic structure is sandwiched between these two muscles. This is posterior division of the obturator nerve. So, while blocking these two, you can come in plane or out of plane. The general rule is first block the posterior division and then block the anterior one. Now, moving on to the supraingual fascia iliaca block scanning. First, identify the anterior superior iliac spine and place the probe in sagittal direction medial to the anterior superior iliac spine. If you move the transducer medially and try to identify the deep circumflex iliac vessels below the internal oblique muscle. This is the ili iliosos muscle on the cephalate part. The, my indicator is towards caudal end. The, this one is the internal oblique muscle and you can see the deep circumflex iliac vessels here, pulsatile. It's not picking up the color. Uh, yes, it's picking, yeah. There's the deep circumflex iliac vessels and this, this structure is your fascia iliaca, you can see. It is going below the vessels and covering. So this is the sartorius on the lateral side, medial side, it is internal oblique muscle, this is the iliosoas muscle, and this is the anterior inferior iliac spine. Okay, so uh, you can do it in plane or outer plane technique. So place the needle tip below this fascia iliaca and deposit the drug 30 to 40 mils of local anesthetic that will uh, spread cranially as well as it will lift the deep circumflex iliac vessels. Now we are going to scan for pain block. I have taken a low frequency curvilinear probe for scanning. First identify the anterior superior iliac spine and anterior inferior iliac spine is medial to anterior superior iliac spine. So what I usually do is I place the probe or transducer over the inguinal crease and scan until I get the view of superior pubic ramus. Here you can clearly see. So the simple technique is just place the probe over inguinal crease and scan cephalad. You will get a view of anterior inferior iliac spine on the lateral side. Here you can see this is the anterior inferior iliac spine on the lateral side, the iliopubic eminence on the medial side, the femoral pulsatile femoral artery, femoral vein, and this is our target area that is swas tendon. In between this tendon and the superior pubic ramus, this is our target area. If you deposit the drug in this area, it will lift up the tendon as well as it will spread medially to block the articular branch from the obturator nerve. So I am showing the scanning technique again. It is very easy. According to, according to the literature, it was very complicated. So I use this easy technique. First, place the probe on inguinal crease and scan cephalad until you get, get a hyperechoic bony shadow. So here. You will definitely, within one to two centimeter, you will get the in anterior inferior iliac spine as well as the iliopubic eminence and our target that is the swas tendon. Okay. In lean and thin patient, you can use uh, linear probe instead of carbilinear probe to perform this pain block. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Until then, keep blocking, keep rocking.